Hi, I'm Dr. Annie. Today we're going to talk about your fertile window and why it's important. What is your fertile window? It's the days during the month when you can get pregnant. Your fertile window is five days before ovulation, ovulation day, and the day after ovulation. Once your body ovulates, that egg is viable for 24 hours. That's it. Did you know that? It's important to know that because then you can time your intercourse around the days that you are the most fertile to give you the best chances of being pregnant. And most people think their ovulation day is day 14 of their cycle. Well, normal cycles are considered to be anywhere from 21 days to 35 days. So day 14 is not always the day that people are ovulating. In fact, there was a study done that says that only 30% of women ovulate exactly at day 14. It becomes very important for you to be able to track exactly when you're ovulating so that you can time your intercourse and have sex every other day or every day right during that fertile window to really target getting pregnant. It's also a good idea to have your partner ejaculate if it's been more than five days since you guys last had intercourse or since he ejaculated. Because after five days, the sperm just isn't as good. Just make sure it's fresh. That's a good tip. A lot of people don't know that. So figure out this fertile window for yourself. How do you do that? You can use an app, which will try to help track days during the month. You can use cervical mucus method. Test your cervical mucus during the month and your hormones will change during the month. So that cervical mucus will also change and be able to tell you when you're ovulating. Some people use the basal body temperature method, which tracks your temperature throughout your cycle. When you have a few cycles, you can more easily target what day it'll be on. Some people like LH predictor kits, ovulation predictor kits, which test the LH. The LH surge happens about 24 hours before you're about to ovulate. But if you're just depending on those, you're not gonna have the entire fertile window. You won't have those five days before ovulation. You will just have ovulation day and the day after. It's better for you to be able to know exactly when you're ovulating. And this can be a trend month over month. And it does shift a little bit depending on stress levels, if you get sick, a bunch of other things, but typically you can figure out what your ovulation will be each month. And then you will be able to determine that very, very important fertility window. If you have questions below, let me know if this helped you subscribe. I will be bringing you more information about your fertility. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon.